Hey, it's Gavin here from Body Rescue. I hope you're ready for this 10 minute workout. We're going total body, upper body, lower body, bit of core thrown in the mix as well. Our first exercise is a full body extension. It looks like this, I'll give you a quick heads up. We're in the ski jump position, we're gonna whip those arms up nice and high, reaching up overhead, and then trying to get on the toes as well. And if balance wise prohibits that, then of course, just stay on your heels. But once we get the motion going, we're looking to speed it up a little bit. The arms are weightless. Throwing them up and bring them back down. And that's what we're looking for. We're gonna go 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, okay? Five minute, a round, okay? Two rounds, 10 minutes. You good, you with me? Okay, let's do this. Full body extensions, starting in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, hope you're ready. Five, four, three, two. Get your ski jump ready, let's go. Whip them up and back down. So get into a rhythm. Breathe it out as you reach the top. Looking forward at all times here, keeping that back in good shape too. So get on the toes if you can, but as I said, if you struggle balance wise, then by all means, you can stay on your heels. Breathing out as you come to the top. Here we go. So it's a lovely day here today, and I am in a good mood, ready for this one. Stick your butt back, swing those arms. Remember they're weightless in a good flow, kind of like a pendulum, just swinging up to the top, nice and high, trying to get next to your ears. Oh, there we go, last few seconds, we're into our next exercise, which by the way, is a push-up mountain climber combo. So, if you need a chair or a table for your push-ups, if you can't do full ones, then grab one now. Table works quite well, something just a little bit higher up, because I don't like people doing them on the knees. If you're not sure why, then you can ask afterwards. All right, so here we go. Two push-ups, eight line climbers. So we're down, one, two, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Set your press up, up. One, two, straight line all the way through. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Now notice I've got my hands wider than the mat. Common mistake is people have them too close together and you struggle to do that push-up. One, head up. Let's go. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go again. One, two, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Breathe it out as you push up. Here we go. Last few seconds. My mat is getting away from me here. Time for another two. There we go. All right. So, next exercise. Hey, next one. Okay, we're going lower body this time with a squat jack. Squat jacks like this, feet together, pop nice and wide, pushing those knees to the side, stay on your heels, back to the middle. If you can't do that, step into that squat, okay? There we go, there's always something else you can do. All right, let's do this. Now head up, as always, show you from the side, sit your butt down. Here we go, this is what we're looking for. Try and get low, try and sit on the heels, make sure you can wiggle your toes. Always keep your head up. And the reason for that is if you drop your head down, your back often gets out of shape as well. Here we go, starting to warm up a little bit. All right, our next one is a plank jack. So you can go high or low, but the idea is you take your feet in and out. So hop them to the side. If you can't hop them both at the same time, then you can take them one at a time. All right, I've got 10 seconds to show you this one. All right, so you can stay up here if you want to, and it's just this straight line from the hips up to the shoulders. Or you can go low. Or you can go step, 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 step. It's up to you. What you want to do, we're now plan this one, it's on the high, okay? So on the hands, but if you want to make it more tricky, go low. All right, let's do it. Now, keeping here, controlling your breathing. You might be slightly out of breath after the squat jacks. So, find your rhythm. You feel the legs burning up a touch. And what you want not to do is have your bum in the air like this or hips sagging down like this. So make sure you, you steer clear of those two. Four, three, two, and one. 
Nicely done. Whew. All right, we got a squat and lunge combo coming up. All right, so this is the plan. Two squats, lunge each side, two squats. So we go like this, two, boom, boom. Okay, can you do that? Well, come and join me then. I'm gonna get in the middle for you. As you lunge forward, make sure that front knee doesn't lean too far forward over the toes. I'll show you from the side now. So here we step, right angles there, right angles here, and back, then in your squat. Boom, and kaboom. Now finding that rhythm, back in good shape all the way through, keep your head up, slight adjustment of the feet for when you go in to your squat. Get one more for look. We were chatting a little bit too much on that one. All right, there we go. So, 10 seconds rest, a quick sip of water if you need it. And then we're gonna go back on the full body extension. Now we know what we're doing. I'm looking for you to up your game a little bit. So let's go. Full body extensions, throw them up. Try to get those arms next to your ears. And it might depend on how tight your chest and shoulders are, but that's what we're looking for. We don't force it, kind of feel that stretch into it. Now if you've got an extra gear here, now's the time to flip into it and pick up the pace. Come on now, here we go. Up. Nicely down, keep with me. <clears throat> Not long left now. Not long. Woo! Good stuff. All right, it's the push-up climber combo. Two push-ups, eight climbers. All right, down to the ground if you can. Otherwise, quickly find the chair, table, kitchen side, whatever it happens to be. All right, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to move my mat out of the way slightly. Once again, make your hands a little bit wider. Two, three, four, seven, eight. We've got 15 seconds to go. Feet sliding here. <laughs> Last lot. There we go. Now, if you have wooden floors at home, you may find that your feet slide like that. That's absolutely fine, no problem. All right, squat jacks coming up. You ready? Four, three, two, one. Here we go, feet together, hop to the side. Get your butt down low, keep your head up. Otherwise you've got the alternative. Still dropping into that squat. My hands are coming forward for balance because I'm looking to try and sit on the heels. Otherwise a full version. I remember second round and final round here. So we want to pick up the pace. Try and challenge yourself that little bit. Because if you keep challenging yourself, just stepping out your comfort zone a little bit. You're gonna get better, you're gonna get fitter. And if you're looking to lose a little bit of chub, and then that will take care of itself. If you try and push yourself that little bit more every time. Whoo! Good job, good job. All right, plank jack. Down we go. Three, two, one. All right, hop, good line through the body. Nicely done. Let's find that rhythm. Didn't need to hop too far. I'll find the edge of the mat 
is a good hop distance. Now, if at any point you need to stop, <laughs> tell you something my body says, or at least my head does anyway, telling me to stop right now, but I'm trying to force it to keep going. But if you desperately need to stop, give yourself a three second countdown, and then jump back in. Five, four, two, one. Stop till a second too early then. All right, well, last lot, squat lunge combo. All right, I'm gonna show you from the side. So here we go, two squats. Lunge, lunge, boom. Try and lunge it out to the side slightly. It's gonna make a step back into the squat a touch easier. Come on now, Let's see if we can pick it up a little bit. Down. Remember, right angles, do not lean forward on those lunges. Last few seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. There you go. Awesome, good effort. Whew. Yeah, got the heart rate up, sweating a touch. 10 minutes, full body, it's happy days. All right, but we're gonna do a little stretch. Okay, so feet wide in a second. Have a drink first. Control the breathing. Nice. All right, as I said, feet wide, push your heels down into the ground. Lean it over, but what I want you to do is pull your butt up to the sky or the ceiling and push your heels down at the same time. You're gonna find a bit much better stretch there. Okay, from there, just lean in one way. Inside of the thigh here. Sit on the heel. Take a little bit lower if you can do. If you're more flexible than me, you might be able to sit on your heel here. Over to the other side. What I find helps when you're doing these sorts of stretches is actually pushing your foot down into the ground slightly, just a little bit. You're gonna find that stretch is a bit more effective. Get down here. I'm gonna bring my feet a little bit closer together and then really push my heels down into the ground whilst lifting my butt up high. Okay, what's up? Roll the shoulders out of touch into the side. Okay, I'm gonna drop my knee down there. A little bit longer than a lunge. So when we spoke about the lunges a moment ago, I just spoke about a right angle, so having 90 degrees with this one. You kind of want your knee to be a bit further behind the hip so you can get a stretch in that hip flexor in the pocket here. Push forward. And to get even more out of this, hand up high, reach over slightly while still pushing your hips forward. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. Spin it around, same thing. A knee behind the hip, push forward, reach up. All right. Now, balance wise, if you're a little bit iffy on the old balance, hold onto a wall or a chair, bring your knees together. And you can do this lying down as well. You don't need to stand up for this one if, you're, if your balance is really off or you just don't have the flexibility to reach back here, you can lie down and do this one. Now push your hips forward and try and bring that knee behind slightly. I think we've just about recovered now. Huh? Again, hips forward, pull. Pull that knee behind slightly. There we go. So if you need to do any more stretching, if there's any tight muscles, go ahead now. But otherwise, we are done. So I will see you next time. Once again, hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching.